Hello and welcome to my channel Shifa's Kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make Singaporean rice. So let's start. For this year I have half a cup of spaghetti, half a cup of cabbage. Then I have one tablespoon of ginger cut into juliennes. One fourth cup each of red bell pepper, green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper and carrots. One fourth cup of onion greens. Then I have one tablespoon of garlic. Finely chopped and one tablespoon of green chilies finely chopped. Then I have one cup of rice soaked in water. I have two fifty grams of chicken, half a cup of mayonnaise, one teaspoon of black pepper powder, one small piece of star anise, and one small piece of cinnamon stick. Two tablespoon of corn flour. Two tablespoon of soy sauce. Two tablespoon of chili flakes. Few drops of Tabasco. Then we'll need one lemon juice, salt to taste, one chicken stock cube, three tablespoon of tomato ketchup, one tablespoon of vinegar, two tablespoon of chili garlic sauce, and one boil egg. So let's start. First, we'll prepare the marinade for chicken. In the bowl, I'll add black pepper. One tablespoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of vinegar, one and a half tablespoon of ketchup, one tablespoon of chili garlic sauce, red chili flakes. Mix it. To this, I'll add. Two drops of the best pork. Now to this, I add salt. Then to this, I add half of chicken stock cube. We need half of all the sauces and the ingredients to prepare our gravy. Mix it. Then to this, I add our chicken, and we keep it to marinate for about one hour. Then we'll boil our rice. Here I have almost four cups of water. This I add a spices, star anise and cinnamon stick. Then to this I add salt. To this I add lemon juice. To this I add almost one tablespoon of oil. Then to this, I add our rice, and we'll cook it till the rice are done. As you can see, our rice are done. Now I'll drain it. Simultaneously, I'll boil our spaghetti. If the spaghetti is not available, you can go for noodles too, and we'll let them boil. As you can see, our spaghettis are done. Now I'll drain them. Switch off the flame. Now we'll saute our vegetables. In the pan, I have added one tablespoon of butter. To this, I'll add a bit of garlic, green chilies, finely chopped, and ginger. Cut into juliennes. Mix it and let them cook till they turn a little bit brown in color. To this, I'll add cabbage.
carrots, bell pepper, yellow, green and red. Mix it and let them cook for about 2 to 3 minutes. Don't add salt and our vegetables are done. For the gravy, I have 3 tablespoons of oil. To this, I have added ginger, garlic, and our green chilies, finely chopped. Mix it and let them cook a bit till they are brown in color. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up to comment and share. Now, to this I add our marinated chicken. Mix it. Let it cook. Till the chicken is a bit done. As you can see our chicken is done. To this I add our remaining chicken stock cube. Mix it. Then to this I add chili garlic sauce. To this I add chili flakes mix it to this I add tomato ketchup mix it and let it cook To this I will add water, almost 1 cup. I will let it cook. Cover it with lid. In the corn flour I will add 3 tablespoon of water, mix it. And we will make corn flour slurry. Now to the gravy I will add a corn flour slurry to make it a bit thick. To this I will add onion green, mix it, cook it for a minute and it is done. Last but not the least, to the mayonnaise, I will add chili garlic sauce. To this, I will add tomato ketchup. Mix it. A bit of vinegar. Mix it. And your sauce is ready. We'll assemble it now. Now we'll assemble our Singaporean rice. In the bottom, we'll add a layer of rice. Above it goes our boiled spaghetti. Over it, I'll add our chicken gravy. Over it, I will add our sorted vegetables. Again, the layer of rice. 
then goes the spaghetti chicken gravy then we'll add our sorted vegetables then i'll drizzle some mayo sauce instead of mayo means you can use fresh cream too it's just a variant to the classic one then i'll place boiled egg slice it is done singaporean rice are done if you like my video please give a thumbs up do comment and share also if you regret any of my recipe don't forget to tag me on any of my social media account facebook and instagram subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you